in the bra. Hello, hello, and welcome back. Let me just share the stream over on the Discord server. The stream's not even showing up on my channel yet. What the hell? There we go. And we're going to continue on with some Baldur's Gate 3. I believe this is part 18 or 19. Our second session into Act 3. Hello, Aaron. Manic. How are you? One second, y'all. I don't know how, like... I don't know how so many streamers just, like, start their stream and they're playing the game right away. But may maybe nobody else shares it on social media or anything. Like, I gotta go onto my channel, copy-paste, write something for the Discord. This is why I usually have a starting stream. Alright, here we go. Part. When you don't do the starting screen, it's kind of awkward. You know what I mean? Okay, we're good to go. There's nothing wrong with my title or anything, is there? Hey, Josh, what's up, man? How you doing? Josh, how's, uh, how's your training going? Everything going good, or what's up? Okay. I think we're good to go. Harry, hello. Sony? How you doing? Anonymous Atheist? Sound is good, thanks, War. Okay, here we go. Can you guys see the game? <clears throat> Last session, we went through about 75% of the circus. We killed Dribbles the Clown. Um, hold on. I don't have my alert boxes on. My bad, Josh. That's not going to pop up, actually. Okay. Should be good now. Thanks for the two, Josh. Six weeks left. Oh, you're there right now. Nice, man. Killing it out there. Proud of you. All right. So we have to obtain the three nether stones for our main quest, of course. We just killed Dribbles the Clowns. So let's go talk to Lucretia. I hope this is important for your sake. Thanks, Anonymous. I appreciate your continued channel membership. No Xbox release date yet, but the last thing we heard was that it was going to come out this year sometime, possibly November, December. So I think we're going to get the quest to find Dribble's body part here soon. Body parts, which are scattered throughout the city. And I did not do that quest on my other run because that was my let's play and I didn't have time to just kind of wander around and try to search everything. But I'm going to try to complete it on this particular run. Oh dear, screaming children and oozing corpse and it's not even my birthday. I thought the Absolute wouldn't dare set foot in my circus. To use such a woeful Dribbles impersonator, why, it's downright rude. An impersonator? Are you sure? As much as I love a good murder, my customers don't. The real Dribbles charms animals and makes puns. Awful puns. Not this. Thanks, Anonymous. Alas, I cannot afford to lose any more staff. Funerals are so very expensive. I need to move the circus. But I cannot leave just yet. Not without Dribbles. He was a star. Customers of every color and creed simply adored him. I need him back. And I'll shower the person who finds him in love, adoration, and adequate compensation. What do you say? <sighs> Let's talk payment. I'm expensive. Huh. I can respect that. And you're in luck. Because I am old, darling. Ancient. <clears throat> I have seen stars explode and civilizations fall. Interesting. Along Spelt the way, with an S. I happened across items of such power that would make you weep with awe. Find my dribbles. You my won't dribbles. be disappointed. Dribbles is probably dead, Lucretius. Even better! Corpses are wonderful employees. <laughs> they aren't picky about things like working from home or eating. I like, that's like, that's like an Easter egg to real life right there. 
You guys realize that, right? They aren't picky about things like working from home or eating. <laughs> All right. I'll look for dribbles. That's the spirit, darling. And remember, I look after those who make me happy. Mm -hmm. Good luck and thanks ever so much. Okay. Find Dribbles the Clown. Dribbles the Clown, star of the circus, is missing. Ringmaster Lucretius, 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 asked us to find him. He's likely dead, but that doesn't seem to bother her. Of course, we have our other quests, but we're going to take our time in the Rivington District, because this is one of my favorite areas of the entire game. Hey, Rocky, what's up? Mitch, how you doing? Oliver, spent too long in this area trying to find all the parts until I realized it was all over the city. Yeah, I made the strategic decision to leave that out in my Let's Play series because I, I also tried to look a little bit and I was like, this is really difficult. Okay, so I think I've done everything in the circle circus now. So, let's go to the back side These of the circus. Interesting. I think I've talked to everybody, haven't I? Let me talk to Miss Silvertongue here real fast. The uh, attack is nothing to worry about. Madame Lucretius has everything under control. Enjoy the circus. Don't you guys love a game that reacts to things that happen? Like most games, that combat encounter that broke out with Dribbles, with the Dribbles impersonator, none of the NPCs would have been affected by that. But in Baldur's Gate 3, you come over here and talk to a random bard, and they have something to say on it. I love that. I love kobolds. They're so amazing. Man, it would be so cool to be able to play as a goblin and a kobold. My boy, Popper. All right, let's see if we can trigger a Raphael scene. I'm pretty sure. Interesting. It's not going to trigger on my run. Interesting. Raphael has a servant, a dwarven servant. That sometimes appears right here. Don't see nothing. Okay. Let's explore this little cemetery. I love my tad. Look at that. Everybody's flying because of the tadpole powers. It's so cool. Raphael's painting. Yes, it does. Yeah, for those of you guys that don't know, Larian sent out a couple adventure supply packs to uh, <laughs> Brilgor. Let's use Speak with the Dead on this guy if we can. I won't even let you pick up Brilgor. And uh, in the adventure supply pack, I have a framed picture of Raphael. I wonder if it's because I'm too weak. Let me try with Minthara. Be no respite. Oh, there we go. Okay. And then let's do speak with the dead. In the corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Brilgo. And how did you die? Pierced. Once. Paralyzed. Damn, that would suck. It would suck to die, you know? Who killed you? Dwarf. Red clothes. Stranger. That's who I was talking about, Raphael's servant. Forget her name. Where did you die? Tunnels beneath temple. Oh. Hidden from sight. Oh. How do I find these tunnels? Concealed buttons. Logan opened for me. It's so cool, like the, the million different power ways power that you can ways. activate you can certain quests. Questions. Like some people will walk into the temple and then they will activate the murder quest. Other people do what I just did and they talk to somebody that's dead and that activates the murder quest. Solve the open hand temple murders. The corpse of Brogor mentioned that he and Father Lorgan were murdered in a hidden tunnel beneath the open hand temple. We can access it through the temple crypt. Amazing. Hey, Robert. Am I able to show it on stream? What a oh, yeah, I'll show you. Hold on. There it is. Pretty cool, right? Raphael. If my family didn't already think I'm a devil worshiper, they definitely do now. I used to sing for a metal band in my mid to late 20s. Um, 
that was hard enough to convince my family I'm not a devil worshiper. Now when they come over to my office, they're going to see uh, a picture of a devil just hanging above my... Classic. Okay. Hey, Meredith, what's up? Yeah, I'm Dragon. The main reactivity comes from before and after scripted events. Okay. What's the likelihood that I would have gone out of my way to cast Speak with the Dead on a random corpse? Uh, fairly high. If you're exploring every little nook and cranny of a game, if that's your play style, you would have stumbled across that corpse and you Speak with the Dead. I think that'd be fairly common. Give me those biscuits. Alvin Muffle Fieldwick gave his fortune to the poor, died in the arms of friends. He will be missed. Alvin Muffle Fieldwick. That's a hell of a name right there. I don't think I'd be too happy with my parents if they named me that. No offense to any Elfins in the chat. B. Gardenson gave her life protecting fellow refugees. May the one who endures shelter her. Reporting. <laughs> Reporting. Orders received. Mikkel Hornkiss gave all to the lepers, fell to the malady himself. He is a beacon to us all. Dominic Sonny lost himself to addiction, but found peace in Ilmater. Ilmater, the god of suffering. So nice to have a high strength character in your group. Really does make a difference. Geshan Kirkaros built the open hand temple, gave all in his name. Oh, wow. We honor their life and legacy. Geshen Kerkaros built this structure right here. The Open Hand Temple, which we're about to go in here soon. I'm just kind of making sure I walk over every area of Rivington here. Hey, Zell's your pack mule. Hey, Scurvy, what's up? Almost done with your second run? Nice. Okay, um, we'll come down here. Oh, we have a little bit of a glitch in the Matrix. This is such a cool part. Man, it's so cool. The ships are actually working now. They weren't working on my first playthrough. This definitely reminds me of DOS 2 right here. Is that blood? No, All right, um, let's go ahead and pop a short rest. Oh, welcome rest. And we can actually get into the back of the open hand temple right here. Is this? Yeah, this is the open hand temple. It's showing red though. I wonder if I'm gonna get in trouble coming in this way. Oh yeah, we're in a room that you're not supposed to be in. It was um. No, I think we're fine. I think we're doing just fine. The open hand temple. Well, we might as well lockpick, right? Not like we're playing a good playthrough here. Under six playthrough? Damn. Register of Temple Dead Speakers. A death will often cause, or in turn, be caused by an imbalance of suffering. On such occasions, a priest must commune with the spirit to see if they can address, address their imbalance. Please list your trained temple dead speakers below. Deceased, deceased, left temple. The most holy sermons of Lash Bearer Katrine. Tales of the Hells. Oops, I added it to my wares. Hopefully they don't sell it by accident. Oral histories of the Spell Plague. You guys should know, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you should know what the Spell Plague is. Spell Plague took place in between Baldur's Gate 2 and Baldur's Gate 3. And it was a time on the planet of Toril where arcane magic ceased to function for the most part. I'll do a challenge. 
and it was caused by the murder of Mistra, uh, Midnight Mistra, Midnight Slash Mistra, by the trickster god Siric in 1385 DR. And if you guys read the Legend of Drist book series, ooh, never seen these before. Angel Clocker Knuckles. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 radiant damage. That would make sense that you'd find good monk gear in an open hand temple, right? Hey, knight. Thank you, Harry. I got Mentharo with my jack of all trades. Nice. It's cool that you're doing that. I like to try that sometime. Um, the reason why I'm starting a little early tonight is because I'm probably going to stop the stream at like 8.39. Because uh, some of my buddies are playing Call of Duty and I want to play with them. Even though we pretty much hate the game now, it's still fun to hang out with your friends, you know? It looks boring and suspiciously shallow. Is there a false bottom? I pen this from the temple cellar, the only place I feel close to the Illmater's will anymore. I pass my gaze between the crests that hide my sin apparent, and I wonder, who are they to pass any judgment? They bark that those who arrive on her doorstep, bloody, beaten, fleeing from heretical hordes, are dirty, unwelcome to be shunned. That is a crime to house them, to bring them into the city proper, but if my back must be broken so others may step to the light, so be it. Interesting, I've never done that before either. We learn that Father Lorgan uses the temple crypt to hide imperiled refugees. We should examine the crypt to learn more. I mean, I did do this quest before, I've just never handled it this way. Keep your distance, darling. I thought I already unlocked this stuff. For a skeleton key. Another BG through the ends of the COD stream. I'll do that in the future, but not for this run, because too many people are following this run as like a let's play. Let's go further into the temple. Let me check this little fire that we got going on here. That'd be how cool would it be to have like this in your house, in like your lower half basement area. You just oh man, that would be so sick. Pretty cool. You can just put the bonfire out. <laughs> okay, go upstairs. Forward. Our enemies are everywhere. recording when done with VG3. That would just be starting a new stream. I'm not recording anything right now. YouTube, well, YouTube's recording it, I guess, but I'd have to start an entirely new stream. Not worth it for Call of Duty. It's also Our nice to just not stream sometimes, just you know? Intended to rattle us. We mustn't let her succeed. We need Damn to it. stay alert all the same. Half my coffee right now tastes like suds. Soap. I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. Why are you packing up your kitchen? Soup kitchen's no good if we've no one to feed soup to. Besides, Father Lorgan's gone. Murdered. And now they're blaming a refugee for it. Can you think of anyone who'd want to kill Lorgan? Some folk didn't like how he looked after the refugees. But I don't think they'd kill hey, him. Hey, At least... I hope they wouldn't. That's a scary thought. What do we have here? A wooden hatch, you say? Oh, 
Oh shit, I don't think I ever came out here before. This is quite nice. This is super nice. Oh, they got rotten tomatoes in here. Angie. Skull. I should highlight those items and send them to camp, but that's okay. What path lies before me? Infirmary. Justice endures even in suffering. Little Thoras alphabet. Kitchen. Visitors kindly keep to common areas. Food will be served at mealtime. Belfry. Bell ringers only past this point. Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some Can't read the damn book in the temple? What kind of scam is this? Anonymous, thank you so much for the 10 euro super chat. You planning on streaming Lords of the Fallen? As of right now, yes, I am. Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. I am planning on it, my man. There's really not much else going on. So, and I'm, I'm, in, I'm genuinely interested in that game. Kind of annoying that it's already been released to, like, a bunch of content creators. And there's already, like, full Let's Play series out there. That's kind of annoying as a content creator. You um, because nobody's going to care as much about the initial streams or anything anymore. But with that said, fuck it. Who cares? I'm just going to stream it and have fun. Best keep your hands to yourself. Really hate that companies and, and I'm part of this because I always try to get a game early, too. And when I get one, I'm like, yes, I really wish companies would just stop doing that. Just give everybody the damn game on day one. OK. Ooh, nice. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hey, Anzaville, what's up, man? How you doing? Lord of the Fallen looks really good, so I attempted to play it, but I got so much work I got to do the next three. Don't get it then. Don't get it. Don't let it ruin your life. Who are you? Logan. Reverend. Open hand. And who killed you? Dwarf. Dressed in red. Damn, this dwarf has been going around killing everyone. Why did he kill you? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. Pretty sure it's a she. What were you doing when you died? Hiding Brilgor from fists. And why were you hiding Brilgor? Must protect innocence. Ill mater's will. <laughs> the spell's power waits. Okay. You can ask no more questions. A lot of death in this temple, isn't there? Doing pretty good, ends. Now I'm doing good. Now that you stopped in the chat. Okay. I wish there was a picture of Raphael in the temple temple of Ilmater. We have, yes, the spirit of the amulet. So those of you guys that don't recall, I picked up this sentient amulet, which contained the spirit of a monk back in Grimforge area um, near the golem fight. And I haven't done this quest yet. And he wanted us to bring the amulet to this temple. So now we get to continue on with this quest. So this is new content for myself. And holy donation. Thank you so much for the 50 Australian dollar Super chat, Valkyria, Val the little Valkyria. That's an amazing name. Holy crap, Valkyria. Damn, I like that. Hell, one ninety nine and all. Started to play Tainted Grail: The Fall of Avalon again from watching your stream. Plus, started running a BG three as the sexy Lazel. Been fun indeed. Skull, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Hello, Stella, Nanny, how you doing? Musubi, RM. What I hate about this is the reward. Ah. Oh. Well, I don't have a monk in my group, so that's okay. We reached the open hand temple. We should look for the spirit's granddaughter, Shira Clarewin. 
Who has the temple on themselves right now? Or the amp temple? Jeez, what the hell's wrong with me? I think it's just in my inventory. The bloody amulets. I really, I, you know, I've been telling you guys every session I'm going to clean my inventory, but you guys know better now. I'm not going to. Just, uh, <laughs> just get used to it, okay? The aberration hunter's amulet. I should probably swap some of my gear here, too. But that's okay. Not as bad as I could have. Sentient amulet. Here we go. It's actually a nice amulet. It gives you shatter and a couple other spells. And then we can talk to the sentient amulet. So let's go ahead and talk to the amulet right now. Thou shalt return to me. <laughs> Thou shalt have my blessing. I found Worms Crossing. Where is your granddaughter? Shira hath devoted her body and soul to Ilmata. Oh, Ilmata. at the Open Hand Temple. Ilmater, not Mater. Stupid. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and focus on this entity. I've already done this before, but let's do it again. Figure out its intentions. Beneath the rampant joy you sense the monk's fear and sincerity. He doesn't wish to harm you, but that doesn't mean he won't. Hmm. Okay. You feel a chuckle coming on, but it soon fades. We're going to keep it equipped. Shira Clarewin is what we're looking for. Can I find food in my inventory? Enough, Yanis. I don't teach you how to... You teach me how to investigate. This, this little creature, Valeria, here is quite the character. Doesn't have the personality that I would have expected out of a Holly Fant. But really cool that we have a Holly Fant in this game. This is a celestial creature that can do no bad. Basically, they can only do good. But this guy is kind of a jack off. You know what I'm saying? Jack off. Does that even make sense? Jackass. We'll go with Jack. <laughs> I'll go with Jackass. I still can't believe anyone would murder Father Logan. There's enough blood to make a believer out of anyone. That you made his grace. Must you be so insensitive? Look, Investigator, Brilgorn might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgor killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yanis. Case closed, just like that. Lazy Holofant. little elephant. <laughs> oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of ill mater. You think I give a shit, sister? I have too many mods for BG3. I'm going to jump into mods sometime here soon, when I'm done with this run, for sure. Try to figure out like the best mods that are really good for someone to use that doesn't change the experience at all. Just quality of life mods, I guess you could say. We'll do a video on that and then we're going to do some crazy mods after that. I know how annoying planar beans can be, especially ones from Celestia. Thank you. I wouldn't normally speak so harshly, but these are rather unique circumstances. Two people just died on temple grounds. Our high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. Mm -hmm. Let's, um, hold on one second, y'all. Stay with me here. Stay with me. You guys still with me? One second. Uno mas, y'all don't mind. I'm going to try to find something so we can talk a little bit of lore here. If I can find this. Um, do, 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 netheril. Maps. Dragon. Deep dive. No. Planes. There we go. The planes of existence. And here we go. So if you guys take a look at this. 
Alifants are from Celestia. So if we look at the wheel here, the Great Wheel, we have the Material Plane, which is where the planet of Toral is located. Okay, the Realm Space, all the other planets, a lot of the other planets. And then if we go to the Upper Planes, we have Mount Celestia right here, which is where Alifants are from. And Mount Celestia is... Let's see... The more center that we get here, the more neutral things become, and the higher we get, the more good things become, with the top half being the good planes of existence, and the lower planes being the evil planes of existence, with Mechanus and Limbo both being neutral. You can see Mount Celestia is right here between being neutral and extremely good. Actually, there's a really cool picture of Mount Celestia, I think, somewhere on Google. Look at this picture. Beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful right there? That's where Valeria is from. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the game. That really wasn't that interesting. I thought it was going to be more interesting, but I screwed it up. Sorry about that. Okay. Valeria thinks it's a murder, and it's content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. What makes Brilgor politically convenient? Brilgor was a refugee. Up for them at the best of time with Gortash in power. Well, I expect the flaming fists will ban refugee aid now one of them's blamed for murder. Uh, which plane would I live in? Um, I'd have to look at it again because I forget the name of it. Um, it's the plane that Myliki has her domain on. It's a plane of animals and wilderness and wild creatures. And it's one of the good planes. Damn it, I'm looking it up. Hold on. Oh, I have it right here. It's called the Beastlands. So if you want to look that up, it's pretty cool. I feel like a video game set in the Beastlands would be really good. Re uh, really cool. Stick to being a place of worship, helping people got your high priest killed. If we don't help them, who will? But the kind Lord God touched. Don't make me laugh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a temple to run and a high priest to replace. Okay. A mass book used by the Broken Gods congregation during regular services. And that is the symbol of Ilmater. <coughs> I gotta start saying Ilmater, not Ilmater. The god of suffering. And that's why they run like a soup kitchen. Yeah, we'll just take this. Nobody's looking, right? And what are they gonna do about it? Uh, take a swing at holding. me? Light on my feet. They're not gonna do shit. You know why? Because I'm a dragonborn been caught in the act so much for the perfect crime hold firm what was taken is now yours that's my health potion dwarf your refusal has only made things <coughs> worse excuse me the guards will be hearing of this ah uh, shit Shit, 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 shit. You're being arrested for theft. If you have a defense, make it now. <coughs> Try to talk your way out of it. This item was stolen from me. If you've done your job, I wouldn't need to retrieve it. You're free to go this time, but next time you won't be so lucky. Reminds you of Pillars of Eternity, monks. I should shove this dwarf now. More against Father Lorcan. We let more outsiders in and more Baldurians die. Duke Stelney, Father Lorcan, it's no coincidence. We have faith here, Bill. Faith Bell. in people, no matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Lorcan? 
How did that work out? Bill, 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 Bill. I love when I see modern names in like a medieval style fantasy game. Always cracks me up. Bill. They're all just sitting around at Larian Studios, like 50 people around a table. What should we name this character? Bill. <laughs> he was murdered, or so I've heard. Exactly. Logan let a killer into our temple due to his misguided compassion. His faith got him murdered. Bill, I beg you, be quiet. Bill Nye. Even sinners receive Illmater's grace, and Father Logan knew that. Illmater. We don't pick and choose who we aid. You see? They all have different pronunciations in this game, and you know what? That's okay. I feel like for a god, most people probably pronounce it the same way because it's a god. But that character just said Ilmater, so I'm going back to Ilmater. If Father Lorgan had been pickier, he might still have been alive. Father Lorgan instructed us to welcome everyone. That was his edict. That is Ilmater's edict. All I'm saying is we'd be a lot better off without murderous refugees roaming the... Enough, Bill. I'm yeah, Bill. sorry you had Shut to the hell up. our squabbling. Our temple is open to you. Walk well. Yeah, I'm going to take more health potions, too, on the other side of the room. Exactly and you're not going to do shit about it. Exactly this. Shira Clarewin we're looking for. No idea where she's at. Novice Bramble. Sure, we'll talk. What's my opinion on Hulk? You're not even Hulk. You're not even new around here and you're asking me a geopolitical question. Are you serious? <laughs> I hope you're trolling me. The crying one weeps today. <sighs> Our father Logan is dead. Murdered. Yeah, let, let's get into Ukraine and Russia and Hamas and Israel right now. It seems like a great time to have a chat about that. What do you guys think? Okay. Who is father Logan? The best of us. I... I don't want to talk. My heart is in mourning. Okay. Bunch of sissies in this temple. Little do they know in the Forgotten Realms, you never truly die. Behold the future, the Steel Watch. Okay. I wish I could take a look at that. They don't even let you read the books in this temple. So much for, uh... Being a generous temple. All right, let me just quickly check. Um, I'm gonna make sure I check every name that we go past here. Oh wait, these guys are in a stealing oh. has caught someone's attention. What will uh, you do? What? Oh, this could be real bad. This could be real bad. I'm just minding my own business. It's nothing to do with me. I have to do with all four of my characters? Are you shitting me right now? I'm using an inspiration point. I ain't trying to go to jail. <clears throat> you may have talked your way out of this one, but there will be no repeat performance. Okay. Your stealing has caught someone's attention. You okay. Return the loot before they can. Okay. Just double check a few things. Man, I love the background music right now. Best be on my way. We had nothing to do with this death. I swear it. That wasn't my Sorlock that was doing it. That was a different character. I think that was a Starion. I love when you don't know what that is. The priests will open the temple up again. You will see. They're good people. Holy people. Pretty cool eyes. I don't know where, where 
Where she is, man. Does it show you on the map? <clears throat> Alright, let's go back into the cellar. I guess I'll stick with... There's one thing that I want to do right now really bad. I want to go down to the coast of the river over here and do this content because it's fun. But we'll go to the cellar up here. Waiting for a wolf to walk outside and get swarmed by the city guard. You gonna do a murder hobo run, BR? That's pretty cool. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, Slander. What's up, man? How you doing? At least I like chicken. Somebody name the video game clip. Somebody name the video game clip. Right now, it's one of the most famous clips of all time. Maybe I'm saying it wrong, actually. At least I like chicken. It might be at least I have chicken, I'm not sure. And that's not the actual famous quote. That's what he says after. Alright, yep, GM Dragon got it. <laughs> I remember when the Leroy Jenkins clip was a thing before it became mainstream and then when it actually became mainstream and like people were saying it that didn't even play video games it was like one of the coolest things ever I was so happy for World of Warcraft Leroy! Dang! <laughs> Give me the number quench on that Abdul Well I believe we have a 13.33% chance repeated chance of success they were a hardcore guild, man, and I fucking respect it. Excuse my language, but I really do. I really do respect Better it. Not be cursed. The hell do we have going on in here? Okay, volume one. A collection of Father Lorgan's writings. Perhaps the hardest... I'm skipping that word because I feel like I'm going to say it wrong, okay? So when I skip a word, I'm letting you guys in on the inside side scoop. It's not because I didn't catch it. because I don't want to look like an idiot. That's a pretty easy word, though. Despondency. Perhaps the hardest suffering to ail is that which dulls, but does not pang. Hell does that mean? Weariness sits deep within one's soul, but it casts its merry net across the surface, dampening all errant thoughts and feelings in its wake. A lace of this sort can rot the heart. Okay. Malaise. That's what I said, Google. Malaise of this sort can rot the heart, if left to fester, but must be ex- Dude, the, the, I open up one book, and it's throwing me for a loop right now? Extricated carefully, above all else, the weary soul knows itself better than you can. I feel like I'm reading- in, I feel like I'm the kid in high school right now, and you get called on unexpectedly to read, like, a passage. You have to stand up in front of the class. You gotta do the tuck-in, too. Some of you guys know what that is. So. <laughs> That is... Oh, shit. I... We're... Oh, man. Nobody's even going to understand what I just said. I'm laughing because it just made me laugh. So let me enjoy the moment, even if you guys aren't part of it. Hey, Panic. What's up? GM Dragon, thanks for $2. You always look like a beautiful idiot. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll take that title. Oh, man. Nobody understood that, but that's okay. As long as I entertain myself, that's why I stream. Do not condescend, do not assume, do not impose. Simply avail yourself as a tool to the weary. Let them know you can be used however they might need. All right, so volume one. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Grab some Ashaba Dusk, whatever the hell that is. We're not reading that, I can tell you that much. All right, what now? Thank you, Septemic, I appreciate it. Oh, God. The crazy moment when you're a kid, you know what I'm saying? They called on at the wrong time. There's a trap. Wow. Scroll of Wall of Ice. That's pretty sick. And Flesh to Stone. All right, where was that trap? Honestly, I didn't catch where the trap was, so I might be dying right now. Miracles of the Outer City. Oh, we don't care about miracles around here. It's a scam. 
That's the trap right here. Zarian is just too good at lockpicking. What a difference, not having to use the knock spell. Supreme Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. Gain an additional level 4 spell slot. Beautiful. That's great. You don't even have to sleep for a few rounds? No, you don't. The great potion right there. Scroll of Arcane Lock. That is a spell that I would like to use a bit more on a playthrough. I think I'm going to have to do a playthrough where I use like all the spells that I would never use. And try to make use out of them, because Arcane Lock could be pretty good. Okay, so... Watch your back. What if there's another way... ...to get through here without... Let's come back this way. Easy Peach, how you doing? You guys need me to explain that? Listen. Those boys had it tough in middle school, alright? Here lies Satida Atana, born 1411 DR, Died 1485, dear. Okay. Might as well loot her, right? Not like she needs the loot. Okay, let's see who this chump is. Here lies Reloric Windbane. Ooh. Born 1399, dear. Died 1486, dear. Reloric Windbane. Sounds like a legendary warrior name. Live for 87 years, too. Windbane, respect. Born 1399 DR, I respect the shit out of that. 1486 DR. Here lies sister Shira Clawen. What? Date of birth unknown. Died 1491 DR. The amulet spirit's granddaughter. She's already gone. I did not expect that. <laughs> Thy wait, only to find thine empty flesh. Don't blame it on me, dude. Wasn't me. Gone, thou might be, alas. <laughs> wait, what? Let me read the plaque again. 1491. Wow. Date of birth unknown. Last year, man. Died 1491, dear. Uh, dude. The hell? I think there are sisters. Oh, 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 oh. Shira. Her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. All right. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me so I might no longer suffer? <laughs> With a clown oh, face. Oh, 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 oh. Shall it be thou? Ugh, it's disgusting. Look how disgusting this is. You guys realize underneath your skin, you kind of look like that too? Minus the rotting part. You guys realize that, right? Like, just look at me right now. I am literally that right there. Trim a little bit of my head off. You know what I mean? That is us. You guys believe me? Hey, Amanda, how you doing? I did Romance Minthara many sessions ago, Slandered. And it was great. It was a great time. Hey, Gloria. My name is Gloria. I have pro Oh, jeez, God. It's Gloria again. Oh, God. <laughs> Almost read that comment. Well, at least it's not being spammed. Okay. Focus on the quest. Oh damn, why am I speaking with Minthara right now? Come on, man. 
All right, ponder what you know of the monk's affliction. What are the consequences of accepting it? We got this. 12. Ooh, 19. The monk himself holds your answer. Tasha's hideous laughter is a powerful skill, but earning it may come at the cost of wisdom. What do you guys want me to do? Look at the responses. Tell me. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Pray for Gloria. I've always known I was a Halloween deck. I feel like I want to take the burden. If it's going to cost me wisdom, it's not that big of a deal. Right? Look at my clowns in my group right here. <laughs> they just look so silly. What happens if you say yes? I don't know. Let's find out. If it will bring you peace, I will bear the madness. Your muscles hey, DM tingle and your mouth twitches as the laughing madness spreads through you. The madness tugs at your mind, prods in places best left untouched. Okay. You feel your wisdom begin to drain. Okay. Why do I feel like I'm doing the... Uh... Necromancy of Thay book right now. Okay. Oh, wow. We can do an illithid wisdom check here. Or accept the inevitable. Allow your wisdom to drain. So it seems like we get a chance to try to resist this. Um, since I am running a absolute worshiper party here, I think I should use the illithid wisdom. See what the parasite can do, right? Or we can do a constitution check. Steal yourself and guide the sensations elsewhere. We have a 2 and a 1d4. Let's go with the illithid check. I wonder if it's going to be a 1 or 2 roll. Probably not. It is. Okay. The yeah, Wyvern! No, it's weeks late, but huge props to Wolf on digging 200k subs and cheer to the entire Wolf Pack for helping us all get here. Oh, woo. Thanks, Wyvern. You beat BG3 out. I see you've been playing Starfield quite a lot lately. You guys make sure to go shoot, make sure to go show DM Wyvern some love over on his YouTube channel. Almost to 1k subscribers, which is actually a pretty big deal. You remain wise as ever, even as Shah's madness spreads outward. You giggle, <laughs> struck by the absurdity of the moment. A spirit hiding inside an amulet has brought you to the body of his granddaughter and possessed it. Outrageous. Ridiculous. Once again, you feel your wisdom draining away. Hilarious. What is it? Should I just keep doing... Okay. I think we should try the constitution check now. Mitch says bragging about 18 months. That's funny. Yeah, Wyvern's almost to 1k. Hold firm. You will make this curse a gift. You will not surrender your wisdom. Oh, God bless Faerun. That's not good. But I am going to use my last inspiration point just for you guys. Okay, well, that's not good at all. But you know what? Life could be worse. <laughs> You've earned Tasha's hideous laughter, and you're all the more foolish for it. Congratulations. Okay, so what happened? At least... My friend, forgive me, for this mind was not mine own. May laughter be thy gift, never thy curse. The morning lord calls. Canst thou feel the warmth of his blessing? This is not my final twilight, but a new dawn. Farewell. The morning lord is Lathander. The is an empty husk once more. The monk, liberated from madness, is finally at peace. Okay. I do not much care whether or not he is at peace, but I am ecstatic that we are. Honestly, I don't even know what that did. Mitch, thank you for the $25 super chat. 
I also don't chat for free. True, Mitch. If you're going to hang out in my chat, better pay up, brother. Okay? Mitch knows the rules. You don't chat in my chat for free. Okay? Unbelievable. Thanks, Mitch. Hey, Chum, what's up? Chum nerd. Have I completed the game yet? Yes. I have a full Let's Play series on the channel where I finished it like a month and a half ago. Okay. Um, hey, Odessa. What's up? Okay. Um, I guess we're done with that. That was kind of cool, I guess. Right? Did you guys think it was cool? I can't remember what Minthara's wisdom was um, before we did... Oh, we do have minus one from Monk Madness. There it is. You guys see it? I almost missed that because it's not showing... I thought it would show up as a condition. But if you guys notice, under wisdom, it says minus one from Monk's Madness. So not a huge deal. But I did lose the modifier. Because if we had a ten, I would have had a zero in wisdom. Now I have a minus one. Not a huge deal on a low wisdom character, though, right? Who even cares? Yes. That must be like an actual permanent debuff where you can't... Interesting. That's that's kind of cool. Here lies Flintster Sunseeker. Flintster. Born 1400 DR. Died Ooh. 1456 DR. 56 years old? That sucks. Can I use Speak with the Dead? Probably not, because these are... Let's find out. There's only one way to find out, though, right? No, it won't even let me target them. These are undead what now? creatures, technically, now. Alright. Let's... Let's go back this way. GM Dragon, thanks for the two. All chats matter. Equal chats for free. True. Let's get on with it. You guys think I play games for free? <laughs> I better stop being sarcastic though, because somebody's gonna take it the wrong way. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna send Minthara. Let's actually let's send Astari on this way. He's gonna be our scout. You guys ever see those clips? Mostly Twitch, actually only Twitch streamers. Of the Twitch streamers that will like, um, they must be having a bad month or something, and then they get really pissed off at their chat that they haven't gotten enough donations or something. Someone there. It's like such a stupid thing. Like it's one thing, like if you're if you're doing if you're streaming for a living, you know it's one thing. You know, like if you're having a really low month and you're not getting that much, like yeah, of course it, it sucks. You know what I mean? Like you're trying to make a living, a living. But then to then voice that at like your community and actually get mad and think that like you are, so I don't know. It's just so, it's such a bad PR move for people to do that. It's silly. There's a lot of streamers that have done it. Th not a lot. There's a few though, and they always make headlines and they look horrible, and then they lose their entire community, and then they're. Uh, and then they're Watch a goner. But I don't have to get mad at you guys, because my sole income is based off of Mitch. Uh, Mitch pays my bills. Mitch pays the chat. I, I I have monetized Mitch to the max, so I don't have to get mad at you guys. Okay. The way is clear. All right. Uh, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send the rest of my group back up top here. And I'm gonna sneak a Starion up here, kind of like a true rogue. Yeah, I've learned how to monetize and manipulate Mitch to the max, and he has paid for everything in my life, so thank you, Mitch. Appreciate you. Mitch pays on my behalf. Yes, he does. You guys can all thank- everybody, let's get a big thank you in the chat for Mitch. It's just so stupid to get mad. God, it's just so... 
it's like do you not like you got to be you got to be low iq to, to publicly get mad and complain about something like that when you're playing video games for a living like even if you're like an entertaining streamer that puts a lot into your stream it's never going to come across good you got people working you know 50 60 hours a week at jobs that they absolutely despise <laughs> and you're playing a video game <laughs> it's such a bad it's a bad idea man it's a bad idea i will say there's a lot more that goes into streaming but it's a really bad idea to do something like that Streaming can tire me the, the F out sometimes, which is why you guys don't see me doing it all the time. But luckily for me, I've, my channel is full of all sorts of different activities, so I don't have to rely on one thing. Vacant as an orc skull. I like doing the streams because it's a nice way to, uh, to connect with you guys outside of just videos and stuff. Because doing videos is, you, I mean, there's really no connection at all. You don't really get to talk to anyone. Oh, interesting. I didn't even know that that opened up right there. Okay. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Quick step. Never get the fun job, son. Be patient, child. Soon. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely slander. dudes getting mad pissed back in for super chats cthulhu lfg mitch <laughs> you looking for mitch to sponsor you too okay we're gonna go down this way I'll split my party up a little bit what is the survival check right here i don't know what Out that is way. oh look you can get on top of the monastery too what was that survival check? Let's go up on the roof. Oh, okay. This is where... Okay, never mind. This is the top where I was already at that. I wonder if there's anything over here. Probably not. Nope. I think we're good. But we're going to go all the way over here into this rock overhang such a beautiful area such a dos 2 feeling area you think it's a buried chest would that be a survival check though i do have a shovel i could just start digging around maybe i should let's see see what we got here starion's got four shovels on him let's send one to minthara Nothing. Oh. Are chests usually survival checks? Man, listen to that music. Isn't that amazing? Exception reveals hidden walls and things of that nature. Yep, like buttons. Daza, you recommend the Legend of Driss books in your Underdark lore video. As someone who was completely new to Faerun and D&D lore at the time, I can say the books changed my life. Love to hear it. Such a great book series. It changed my life, too. I feel like R.A. Salvatore is a very wise individual. And um, even though it's a fantasy book, and you're not necessarily looking for an author of a fantasy book to you know, give you philosophies on life, so to say. Um, R.A. Salvatore has a lot of really good passages in all of his Legend of Driss book series. They're usually passages that will be like one or two pages before a chapter starts every few chapters, where he just kind of gives um, in your name the thoughts of Drist or Erden and how Drist feels about life and his struggles and his philosophy on all sorts of things. And even like... It even gets a little bit political. It kind of gets a little bit into like social issues a little bit within the context of the fantasy world. 
And I feel like Ari Salvatore just did such a fantastic... I used to read those passages, like, over and over when I was, like, in my 20s. I wanted to be like Dristo Erden. Like, Dristo Erden was literally my role model. A drow elf in a fantasy book was my role model because of Ari Salvatore. <laughs> Interesting. The hell was that? Oh. Die, thanks for the five. Money is so wolf, wolf, wolf won't yell at us. Okay. Thanks, Shy. I was getting really close to screaming right there. Our enemies I was going to scream breath. at you specifically, Shy. You've only been a member for like... Uh, how many how many months you've been a member, Shy? Tell me how many months you've been a member. And a patron, too. Tell me how many months, Shy. At your bidding. Just checking around here, making sure there's no like passive perception checks. Ooh, can we get down here? If you do the member milestone comment, you get one each. If you're if you're a member of the channel, it shows you. There's a member milestone comment that you can do every month. You get one for free. That will show you how many months you've been a member. But also, you can just look at the color of your wolf. But okay, we're gonna leave him. Actually, I'm gonna bring him over here. Shy, you've been a member for two years and eleven months. That's it. Are you kidding me, Shy? What are you watching my content for free? fucking kidding me right now? You guys a bunch of moochers? Can't believe this fucking community. Only two years and 11 months. Like, you were watching before that, Shy. Were you a not- were you not a member before that? You're watching my content for free? Fucking unbelievable, this community. Seriously. Why do I even do this? Hey, Mr. Hardcore. <laughs> Watching a streamer play video games doesn't come cheap. True. True. Alright, I'll focus on the game. Now I'm sorry, y'all. I was just getting pissed because Shy's only been a member for, you know, and a patron, and a patron probably for that long too. Just ridiculous. <laughs> you see, you see what I did right there. I manipulated, I manipulated you guys into donating to me <laughs> by acting like the good guy, but really I wasn't. My whole plan was to get those donations from Shy and Thunderboss. I got it all figured out, chat. Thunderboss, thanks for the $4.99. I appreciate it. Shy, thanks for the 20. I'm definitely giving that back to you. I'm making a note to go on your stream sometime soon, and I'm donating that back to you, but thank you. Appreciate it. I saved my big donos for slandered. Yeah. I would do that too. If I, if it was me, I would absolutely do that too. Damn it, I keep clicking on Astarion like I want him to lockpick right here. Who should I lockpick with? Let's see. Nobody has proficiency in it. We'll do it with my sorcerer. Actually, this is actually trap disarm. So let me back Who's up a little next? bit. Wolf tricks me all the time. I love manipulating my subscribers. Makes me feel good. What if you can thunder? How cool would it be if you could misty step to one of those ships? That'd be pretty cool. Necklace of elemental augmentation. One owner of your cantrip steals acid, cold, or fire. Mitch, seriously, downgrade that. The re All right, I'll tell you, what, Mitch. The reason why you have to downgrade your membership, and I'm not, I'm not going to let you be a divine wolf. 
I'm 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 forcing you to downgrade your channel membership. And then you can any extra money that you want to donate, you can donate, okay? So that's an order. So make it happen. Pissing me off, Mitch. I remember when I had Scratch in my group here. I sent Scratch through the fog. <laughs> okay, actually, where is... Hold on. I'm lost right now. I mean, I know where I'm at. But hold on. Thanks, Mitch, man. But seriously, cancel it. You can donate to me if you have extra money. Cthulhu, thanks for the five, man. I refuse to donate to you. <sighs> Wolf killed Scratch? Absolutely. That dog was filthy and smelly. Hold on, I gotta think for a second. You guys are making me multitask too much, and I don't appreciate it. There's a way to get... Hold on. It's back here. Okay. This is what I wanted to do. We're going to come back and do that. Maybe on today's stream. We'll see. Come back this way. Hey, look at the fishing rod right here. I wish you could fish in this game. That would be pretty epic. I think I can equip that as a weapon, if I remember correctly. Can't you? Should I fight with a fishing rod as a paladin and do divine smite? Oh, you guys see this weapon right here? I bet you some of you guys have no idea what it is. I might actually use it, even though it's, um... Oh, yeah, we're going to use it. I didn't even realize that it's 9 to 21 damage. We're going to use that on the Paladin right now. Why not? For some reason, I didn't think that it had that good of melee damage. And then we can also chuck it at enemies, and then it will return, like Thor's hammer. Okay, that's pretty cool. I could have sworn you're able to equip a fishing pole as a weapon. The bone saw? Oh my god. Oh my god, look at that weapon. I would totally dual wield those. Wow. Imagine getting hit by that. It would just... It would hit, and then it would catch your skin, and then they pull away, and it just... The type of weapon that I'm going to use. Alright, so just so you guys can see, this weapon right here. I got this from the land of Chult, the jungles of Chult, in southern Faerun. I already showed the map last stream, so I'm not going to do it again. But way south of Am, south of Tathir, and south of Kalimshan is the jungles of Chult. And the genie at the circus will send you there if you piss him off. And if you complete the little challenge, you get this weapon right here. Which is pretty freaking badass. Let's go ahead and chuck it so I can show you guys. So if I throw this spear over here at this box, it magically appears back on my back. Salami with a weapon, that's pretty funny. Hey, thank you guys for being here tonight. I appreciate it. Thanks for the thumbs up on the stream. Also, while I have a lot of you guys here, I released a video today. It was sponsored. But I usually don't take sponsorships unless I actually am interested in the game, or I think the game's decent. There's a game called Passageway of the Ancients, made by three developers. Three! I might actually do a stream of it in like a day or two, because I feel like the video that I posted is not going to perform that well. And then I feel bad, because I took money from them. Make sure you guys go check out Passageway of the Ancients, or go wishlist it over on Steam. Because I actually genuinely want them to feel good, and I want them to do good as a company. Just three developers developing like an old-school CRPG called Passageway of the Ancients. Or you can watch the, the video that I put out today. I'll link it at the end of the stream. On my way. Thanks, Shy. Alright, so where I wanted to go was over here. We're gonna meet Astarion in here. No, I think it's going to only be a PC game. It is like a super indie game and definitely for more hardcore CRPG lovers and people that like old school CRPGs. 
Um, there's a free demo on Steam right now, though. But I think it's really cool what they're doing. I prefer to take lives. Thanks, yo. Very strong weapon, hell yeah. Weapon's OP. I love that trap where it does 10,000 damage. Yeah, I pissed off the genie. He turned you into cheese? That's hilarious. I love that outcome. I forgot. I'm playing. I'm playing as a do. I'm playing a fighter, a fighter thief rogue mix with a Starion right now. Never get like the fun job, so walking up to NPCs be patient, child. is not really a Starion thing, but we can do a sneak attack from here if I wanted to. Watch this. You guys think I can handle this solo with a Starion? I bet you I can. All right, let's give it a try. Is there any other high ground around here? Then I have backup right there if I need it. But this, you guys got to see how powerful this build actually is. Absolutely insane. 67 HP, 67. Okay, so the only thing I'm worried about is these guys are going to come up on the high ground. I should probably... Hmm. <laughs> Why do I have disadvantage? Oh, shit. just happened did i really break i think this area might be a little glitchy with the stealth cones or maybe i went into no i'm in shaded area right now i don't i actually don't know what just happened all right let's go ahead and since i have high ground right here um difficulty tactician Is why I have disadvantage? Have you guys seen that before? I feel like I've never seen that on this run yet. Disadvantage because of... Okay. In that case. Okay, 90. Oh, I have 90% chance on this target too. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a double shot. Um, I do have sharpshooter. Sharpshooter makes it. Oh, wow. Something fudgy going on right now. Okay, 42 percent. Six percent, 56. You don't know what dictates it? Sometimes it happens. Interesting. Why? It's just so weird. Like, why in this fight? It doesn't seem like a good reason to give disadvantage. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't... It doesn't even logically make sense to me. Like, why give dis... Like, I can see it. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. It is what it is.
It's the fact that they're shapeshifter enemies. They have a feat that's tactician only. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes much more sense. Thank you. Don't have any battle dice left. 42% chance. Let's do it. Do it again. Four misses at 42%. That wasn't where the hole was. Okay. Oh, God. God bless. Forty, twenty-six. So let's go ahead and we're gonna attack twenty-six first. Twenty-six. Do I need sharpshooter on? We're gonna turn it off. With disadvantage, that's pretty tough. Perfect. Let Starion bite that. I love a rogue having a shield. Oh baby, look at that. That's a wrap. One of the doppelgangers, one of the doppelgangers, assassins underneath the open hand temple had a strange flowery key. We should find out what it opens. One of the doppelgangers. Esperant Dolores, talented if a touch careless. The dagger he discarded lurks within these caves somewhere, though I know not where. I can smell it. The fear musk from his kills stands in the air after the act. He lets them marinate first. They stand, lie st stock still as the poison fills their limbs with lead, knowing only two perfect facts. They are going to die. There's nothing they can do about it. Duple gingers? I don't think they're gingers, are they? Yes. Well, someone fancies themselves an artist. Hey, we found a piece of of dribbles. Cool. A clown's just still in jolly rags. It's from Or in the Red. I just let's go back in. What use her eyes? She thought herself a huntress, but couldn't fathom her wool. Below is an exaggerated, exaggerated signature written in blood. Orin, the red. Orin's one of the coolest, one of the coolest antagonists I think we've ever seen in a video game. Absolutely brutal. Stillmaker. Wow. Look at the model. It looks pretty sick. You get hold person, 9 to 15 damage. It's a really cool looking dagger, isn't it? Wow, it's got the freaking symbol of ball on it. Oh my god. Looks like Baldur's Gate 1. That's incredible. A pretty dagger. The same one that ended Father Lord. Okay. We found a murder weapon and flowery key underneath the open hand temple. We should check what the key opens. So the key, it's in my key pouch. A key ring. This key, spattered with blood, is inscribed with the address of Frago's Flophouse in Worms Crossing. So a worm's crossing is worm's rock bridge. So then we shall continue this quest. Why is my Astarion a clown? Because I think Astarion is a clown. 
Uh, actually, there is Mordeth. If you look on my channel, it's called the... What did I call the build? Um, it's not this build, but it's a similar build. Probably even more powerful than the build that I'm doing right now. It's called the Twin Bolt... Twin... I don't even remember what the hell it's called. Hey, Michael. Twin Bolt Sharpshooter Maestro build or something like that. It's probably like five or six videos back on the channel. And it's freaking good. That build combines Bard with the Thief Rogue and the Hand Crossbows. I'm doing Fighter Multiclass right now, but actually I think at the end of that video I do talk about the Fighter Multiclass as well. The Bard Multiclass is really cool because then you can play your character as the face of your party at the same time. And if you're doing like a Thief Rogue Fighter combo, it becomes a little bit more difficult with those Charisma checks and things of that nature. A lot of, I know a lot of people like to play Charisma classes because their character can be the face of the party. So the Bard combo goes really good for a main character combination. And you're also just really good at pretty much every skill check in the game because Rogues and Bards excel at more skills than most, actually all other classes in Baldur's Gate 3. You can basically multi-class if you're dual wielding and you want to multi-class you don't have to multi-class and you want to multi-class you can basically multi-class any dual these wielding class the was trying to help, do you think? with the state of these bodies not even a priest could help them now if you multi-class into the thief rogue you get an extra bonus action and offhand attacks in this game require a bonus action so then you have basically two actions if you're playing a class that has action surge and you have two bonus actions because you're playing the thief rogue Master Rogue, that's what I am right now. Pretty good, too. Uh, well. The benefit of multi-classing Fighter in Rogue is that you get the extra ASI, which makes it a lot easier to take a feat like Sharpshooter and not have to sacrifice getting 20 in an ability score because the Fighter gets um, an ASI or a feat at level 6 and not just 4 and 8 like most other classes do. So it's a really nice multi-class. Hold on, am I missing something in here? Look here. Oh, this is what I missed. Right here. I found his torso shy. This is cloud kill right here. Great job on the particle effects, Larian. Um, how would you get rid of Cloud Kill? Would Create or Destroy Water get rid of it? I should try. Let's, um... Destroy Water. Water, Steam, Ice, Blood, and Poison. Upcasting doesn't do anything. Oh, uh, it doesn't even... doesn't do anything either. Interesting. Mm. Gust of wind didn't really do anything. I thought it would. Oh, just a brief respite. 
What else do I have? Let's think. Last time I came here, I just ran through the cloud kill. Just fine. Um, I feel like Gust of Wind should have worked for that, but it didn't, so. Let me give it one more try. Target is blocked. It says roll. Maybe it's because I'm on the second level. No, I already tried it on the ground. Best avoid that trap. Okay. Well, let's, uh, oh shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, I'm screwed. Damn it. Oh, great. I don't even know what happens. The trap's already gone off. Let's try this way. Okay, get back up here. All right. Let's go ahead and look. It's a floating trap. Let's throw... The Gloves of Belligerent Skies. When the wearer deals thunder or lightning damage, inflicts two turns of reverberation. Actually, I think I need to put these gloves on. Effect entity has a minus one penalty to strength, dex, and constitution. Saving throws per remaining turn. When it has five or more turns of reverberation, it takes one to four thunder damage and possibly falls prone. I'll leave the gloves of dexterity on. We can always pick this up in a second, too. What do we have here? The Ice Bite Robe? Yeah, nobody cares about that. Well, that's one way to get rid of Cloud Kill, too. Take your, your... Ah! Best avoid that trap. I don't see the trap. Is it the chest? I remember this. All of this just for a potion of speed. I mean, this potion of speed is pretty good, but... I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else down here. We're gonna have to long rest soon anyways, so that's fine. I know Gust of Wind works in other situations with other gaseous areas, but it doesn't work with Cloud Kill. All right, after I get through this first trap, we're going to take a long rest with Hermione Granger right here. Use fire. Oh. You think that would work? Firebolt on cloud kill? Be worth a try. But, uh, yeah, if it's coming out of a vent, then perhaps you just have to disarm the vent. It's just continuously coming out, so. Maybe that's why. That's probably what happened. Because it actually did look like the gust of wind was doing a little bit, and then it just came right back, so that's probably what happened. Lighter of blue flame. Am I the only one that loves Shadowheart with the witch hat? Doesn't give any benefits at all. Except it makes me happy. 
that's why I keep using it. Oh, interesting. There's no trap, though. Okay, the traps are working. I wish Larian made traps deal more damage. I don't know if I've ever died from a trap in this game, which is kind of a bummer. Because then I just stop carrying. It's like you might as well just run through every trap. Like, why even spend the time to try to just like strategically disarm them? You know what I'm saying? It took like 10 damage with the Starion. Not even a big deal. All right, let's save this. Crap. Going pretty good, Apexus. Thanks for stopping in. Go ahead and take a long rest. Oh man, are we gonna get the oh no, something's gonna happen here. Um, hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? I met you before? And, um, my mom hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's I coming. fucking hate this coffee mug. Could we maybe stay here? What harm? She's little. Won't it's take leaking. up much space. Or make much of a dent in our provisions. Okay, that was the problem. I wasn't missing the hole. <laughs> it was leaking out the little, uh, little, whatever you call it right here. At the seal. Oh my god, Astarion! What the hell are you doing, man? No kids allowed. Come back in ten years. But I won't make it that long on my own. I know, it's kind of weird, right? We have a little kid here and Astarion's just standing there i mean my dragonborn is okay because he's a dragonborn they they're naturally allowed to run around naked because they have scales i already told you no and i mean it kid get the hell out of here but um but <sighs> all right i'll go but you'll see you should have said yes you'll wish you said yes mm -hmm. scram kid freaking hate kids annoying little <laughs> bastards all right so hold on Here's my statue of myself that I love to just stare at every di freaking day. Whoa. Has advantage on dexterity checks, only takes half damage from falling. Affected entity is immune. That's hilarious at the statue. Somebody said, didn't Mitch, weren't you, weren't you the one that says you get like a permanent buff from your statue? I don't see it. I don't see a way to interact with it. Like you can't click on it. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most well. Basilisk oil? While she lives, Worth a try. oil will continue to terrorize us, and soon she will make good on her threats. She thinks we are weak, afraid, vulnerable. We need to prove her wrong. You're on edge, Minthara. Orin's influence, I assume? I am not on edge. I am alert. As you should be, too. Orin could be anywhere. Could be anyone. Unnerving. What do you suggest we do? We need to watch over each other. Now, more than ever. Is that key word for coconut oil massage or what? Is this your first time in Baldur's Gate, Minthar? Yes. I only know it through history books and hearsay. Okay. A city of murder and grief. Okay. It is already living up to the legend. I'm curious about Menzo Baranzen. Tell me about your home. Those of you guys that read The Legend of Drist, Minthara is also from the same city that Drist is from. 
and it's far north of Baldur's Gate, very far north of Baldur's Gate, and of course in the Underdark. From the still dark waters of Lake Donegarten to the black academies of Tearbresh, it is a city of wonders and terror. Mm -hmm. But it is not my home anymore. If I were to return, I would be denied all of its wonders and shown only the terror. Mitch, thanks for the five, man. You absolute animal. It gives the person a permanent bless after long rest. Okay. All right. We'll take a look when we finish our rest here. What was your life like there? I am a daughter of Menza Baranzan's most ancient and powerful house, the Bainre. I lived a life of privilege and danger. My home was at the tallest point of Kuel Arzol. The place of the nobles, a plateau high above the city's sprawl. I enjoyed every luxury, whether harvested in the Underdark or stolen from the surface, and I survived my first assassination attempt while I still suckled at my mother's breast. <laughs> what? <laughs> I tasted her blood that day. She covered my body with her own, and a blade bit deep into her chest, almost puncturing her heart. She fight back, when baby I came style? Of age, she tried to take my life herself. And I gave her fresh scars to match those she earned protecting me. Damn, what a story. Is she still alive? <laughs> I expect so. If the world were to end, I think my mother would survive to rule over the ruins. Brutal, just like Menzo Brands is supposed to be. <laughs> Little wonder you find it hard to make friends if your own mother tried to kill you. She taught me to be resilient and to guard my heart from those who cannot be trusted, literally and figuratively. When I choose to let somebody close, I do not do so lightly. That gives a great depth of meaning to the bonds I do share. You must be glad Catherick is dead. I take no pleasure in his passing. Whatever faults he may have had, Catherick was a great leader. You respected him? Of course. He ruled Moonrise for centuries. That in itself deserves respect. I believe he was an honorable man, but the gods used him as their plaything. First, Shah and her sister, then the three behind the Absolute. I sympathize. The only companion that I still need to get in my group now is going to be Helsin. I heard Helsin's a horny bastard. Is that true? Move I romance on this playthrough? I mean, pretty much everyone shy, right? Now, Minthara and uh, Shadowheart's in love with me, but I haven't given her uh, what she wants yet. You gotta earn my Dragonborn, you know what I'm saying? It ain't that easy. Do you think he could have been redeemed? A meaningless question. If he had killed us and conquered the Sword Coast, I would envy him. As it is, he lost. And I pity him. But I will never forgive him for handing me to Orin. For that, <laughs> I hope Merkel hollows out his bones and lets them be dust. Nice. Okay. Nice, got some cool... Danton, what the hell are you looking at? Shut the hell up or I'll put you to sleep. Violence hasn't gone unnoticed. It's about to be returned in kind. Dude! Danton's banging the night song! Holy shit! Danton's banging the night song! All those nights that I left them two together, are you kidding me? I knew he was up to no good in my camp. Should have dismissed him. Alright, I think we're gonna have to save scum. 
we're save scumming. <laughs> I have to save scum because if I kill the night song, we're not going to get the final scene of the game where the night song shows up and then I can ultimately betray her. So we're going to have to save scum that. Well, shit, it's kind of, it's not actually, it's not too far. Uh, How did you start a fight with an immortal? You tried to kill Yana? Well, I can see that. I mean, I guess, okay, I guess she just wants to protect. But Danton's not an innocent. Danton is a creepy, creepy tiefling that nobody likes. Step quick. Shouldn't be protecting him, you know? I could see her protecting the child, right? First play for fetish porn. Um, I could. What harm? She's little, sorry, kid. You don't. I already told you. But um. Hey, get the hell out of here. If not over, then through. I'm gonna exhaust Minthara's dialogue again because I'm not sure if it like procs like future dialogue. So we're gonna talk to her real fast. While she, we need to prove her wrong. Orin could be anywhere. Could be anyone. We need to watch over. E it is already. I take no pleasure in it. I sympathize. But I will never forgive him. But it is not my home anymore. If I were to return, I would be denied all of its wonders. It is hard to be and without a home. Yes. Particularly when the home was so magnificent. I am a daughter of Menza Baranzan's most ancient and popular. Yeah. When I came of age, that gives a great depth of. The hell are you looking at? I know what you're doing. You've weaseled your way into my camp. Now you're taking my ladies. Sorry, I'm put some freaking pants on, dude. Disgusting. Can't take the companion seriously with the clown makeup on. Hey, Richard, what's up? Use the druid hireling to out Kaga. Oh, that's pretty cool. I installed Kaga was right, was right mod, and then tried to kill everyone. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a cool mod. Yeah, I'm very curious um, what's going to happen, Thomas. I don't want to talk about that too much, just because it's a bit of a spoiler for people that don't know it. But I'm very curious too. I don't really have any companions to give up here. All my companions are dead. The Dying Stone Lord Thug. Ugh. Come to finish the job. With pleasure. What are you doing? Stop! No! Ah! No! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! That tickles. You gotta Still be shitting me. Muck, I see. That's Gold kind of a weird position. Knows you are coming. Knows you have the Bone Lord's stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm a weakened brain. Okay, this is uh He will try to bind your brutality to make you spin the suffering for his noose. <laughs> Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. The glitch kind of fits her character, I'm not going to lie. With me. What does she want? I was definitely bugged out, but it kind of fit. She was like... Dee -dee -dee. By my oath. See if I have any. Ooh. 
dribbles weighs so much. Still don't know what that buff that Mitch is talking about is. Oh, or of, wait, no. No, that's not from that. That's from Minthara. I don't see any buff from the statue. Unless Mitch was trolling us. I broke Orin. Oh I'm shit, Minthara's now encumbered. Damn, that weighs a lot. What, I could just send it to camp for now. How much does that weigh? Well, I just sent it to camp either way, so whatever. I didn't even mean to. Just gotta remember that I have it there. This is, um... I remember when I triggered this. It was pretty, uh... Unexpected. Let's see what happens. There's nothing to trip over right there, so we're good anyways. Swift as my feet can carry me. Is that Dribbles' arm right there? No, it can't be. It would tell me, right? Yeah, it would tell me. I dropped it on the ground. Okay, I'll go back and get it. I thought I sent it to camp. Thanks. They won't see me come. Oh, that shoots backwards too? What did I just say about traps not being powerful enough? <laughs> Someone's gonna go for a relaxing walk on the beach and find a clown torso. Dude, I didn't think that would shoot backwards. Seriously? It's just, I guess it just shoots. Hold on, I wanna test this out. So that's progress. Let's do a little test here. What's next? Let me move Shadow Hearts got Revivify. Let me move Minthara over here too. Curious. Last time I saw that ship, it was docked at Moonrise Towers. Actually, let me see if I can do Speak of the Dead. The monsters in the moon. The corpse remains silent. Oh. Oh my Oh, wait, I thought that was from my gear. So you're saying that's what the statue does after every long rest? And it only does it on my character. All right, we're going to test something out here. We're going to shoot that next one. The gods are watching me. You guys ready for this? I was wondering if the environment would save me right there. Like on my first run, I shot everything from over here. And it didn't zap any of my characters. 
No traps, please. How much farther can I go? I don't have any resurrection scrolls. Music sounds like Star Wars. When I go. <laughs> Look at Astarian just laying here dead. Take you. So many tadpole abilities. I have so much right now. I want to use potions right now. I do have a lot of potions finally, once again. Time to get going. Stopped me yet. We've killed lots of you so far, haven't we? We'll kill more. Or I'll crush you like the cockroach. Nice and quiet now. Looks like those two are about to fight. All of them, rock brain rattling. Old flake eyes, the dragonborn. Run your mouth, Kairos. My blade does my talking. So cool. I love Dragonborn Rangers. I think it's a really cool race class combination. The guild owns this city. It's the guild versus the Stone Lords right now. What? Seriously? Wait, it's put on. Okay, all right. The guild's on my side. Thought it put me against the guild for a second. All right, I guess we are participating now. Sure thing. Okay, we got Old Flake Eyes at 78 HP. Karos. Damn, man, what a badass. Blunt Scuncher. Dahlia. All right, I'm going to target. We'll do a fireball instead. Right? Yeah, we'll do a fireball to start, I think. Let's do a regular one. I like it, even though that guy's resistant. Still pretty good AoE damage. Something smells tasty. I wonder if it's even possible. Oh, it is possible. Perfect. No, no, Astarian, stop! Step We target the statue.
not gonna work because it's a sneak attack's not gonna work because it's not my character that's in melee range. Definitely getting DOS 2 vibes right now, you guys too. Yeah, the tadpole is crazy powerful, isn't it? Should save before doing things like that, true. Hey, Hammer, how you been? Ryan, thank you, you as well. Watching this got me craving BG3. Gonna start up my Dark Urge run again. Nice shy. I can't wait to play the Dark Urge myself. That's gonna be the next run, I think. Um, hold on. No, we should be good here, actually. Even though it's well lit. Problem is... That's gonna put us in combat, I believe. Um... Is it, though? Oh! Silly me. I have a throwing weapon. You guys ready for this? Check this out. Oh god, the AoE damage too. That is so epic. Wait, it didn't come back. Why didn't I get it back? Where'd the weapon go? Thomas, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. I appreciate it. Thanks for giving me your first ever super chat. I can get up there. Thanks, man. Backseat gaming fee. You have a lifted fly, no need to jump in combat anymore. Thanks, man. Oh crap, I just got spotted. What should I do? You guys know what I'm saying? Tempest Cleric, FTW. Hey, Fate. Good to see you. You throw it out of your normal turn, it doesn't re equip. Weapon's bugged. Oh, okay. You initiate outside of combat. Hey, Ben, Fate. Good morning to you. Oh, shit, I forgot to pick it back up. No! <laughs> you guys want me to punch this guy? Let's punch him. Oh my god, that was epic. Get the hell out of here, Dragonborn. I don't like your kind. Damn, dude. Larry did such a good job with barbarians in this game. They're so intimidating. Should be in bed. Four hours of sleep left. Who cares? Hey, go to bed. This bastard's gonna give me disadvantage on my attacks. Oh my god, that was the psionic backlash from the illithid powers. It's pretty cool. Sound effects in this game are just chef's kiss. I have encountered, I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, I countered mimics in uh in Grimforge. Incendium. 
What was I just doing? I don't have Thunder Wave. I was going to help out Astarion. I don't think I can shove. No, I just used my bonus action. I actually didn't mean to do that, but it's too late. So now we're going to roll with it. Could Mage Hand and shove this jabroni right off this freaking deck. No, it's too far out in the order of turns. Time to kill. All right, Astarion. You got this freaking dude in your face, which is really messing up everything. Instead of disengaging as a bonus action, we're just going to back up. No problem. No problem at all. All right, y'all see this? Watch this. 88% chance with advantage with sharpshooter activated. It's pretty much a game over. And I could also activate precision attack too, but I don't even think I need to. Okay, let's do a precision attack. You're still alive? What just happened? Oh, okay, okay, there's a little bit of lag. One HP? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, my game is bugging out, it feels like. I feel like Call Lightning with Destructive Wrath with a Tempest Cleric might be the most enjoyable spell in this game. There's a, there's a mimic in act two. I don't know if I recall that mimic. Oh, you can pick it up for free, but when you equip it, it costs an action. But that's okay. Perfect. Now I get an opportunity to attack on both of these guys. That wasn't very nice. Sure, why not? Wish I could get two opportunity attacks. So I'm pretty sure that this glitched out on my first run. So I hope that the conclusion of this fight turns out in a way that I actually get like a scene. All right, this freaking character over here has only got one HP. Seriously? Sure, we'll do magic missile. Why not? Or we could just Let's actually... Inside out. Let's do this. Turn off sharpshooter. Do an offhand attack. Are you kidding me? What? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. There's no targets for me to attack. Oh, so much for peace. Yeah, I gotta start using the fly a little bit more. These boots have seen everything. We need F5. still have one HP. Mage hand was pointless. Okay, let's do uh let's throw now. You ready? Yeah. That's awesome. And we have extra attack too, so I can throw it again. Ah! 
Thank you, good stranger. Someone to try to slink away rather than get involved. They wouldn't earn the gratitude of the guild. Don't have to equip it. You can just pick it up and throw it. Oh, when it's on the ground. True. Just throw it from the inventory. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that in the future. Thanks. Happy to help. Who did we just kill? A new flavor of scum that's been muscling in on our business. Agents of the Stone Lord. Stone Lord? Never heard of him. Lucky you. He's a newcomer to our delightful underworld. And he doesn't play nice with others. And what were his agents doing here? We think the Stone Lord and his cronies are in league with the absolute cultists. This little operation here certainly suggests so. They were shifting something valuable by boat. But that something belongs to the guild now. I'd say I deserve a little something for helping you, right? Of course! The guild always rewards good work. Now scram! 642 gold! Working with the guild, the most prominent, powerful criminal organization in Baldur's Gate. Run by Nine Fingers Keen. Who was kidnapped as a child. And her pinky was sent to her parents. And the kidnapper asked for gold from the parents. We'll see Nine Fingers Keen later and we'll examine her fingers. You guys will see she's missing a pinky. The Corpse Grinder. Nice. Very nice. Do not fail. The guild has caught wind of our activities down, down, down by the river. The Stone Lord has personally requested that you see off any visitors. I have heard murmurings that your dockside crew begin to doubt the tales around the Stone Lord's capabilities. Keep our shipment secure and he will not need to come down in person to make a demonstration. I feel like I want to go to jail. I have to commit a crime here soon. Let's get going. I'll feel that one later. What do you guys think? You think I should do it? Okay. Yeah. This. There was. Yeah, this was, um, this didn't happen on my first run. I had a lot more bugs on my first run. Half of it was the review copy and the other half was just like the first version 1.0. Don't want to go to jail? I was talking IRL, not, not the video game. Trying to get free food and free health care. You know what I'm saying? to the streets now later I don't think I found anything on the ship when I played this for the first time I thought there was going to be like something something crazy can't slow down go to jail IRL all right yeah I'll do that then scurry off there's two oh shit absolutely I will Take those, my friend. You have deepened your sense of self, gaining expertise in persuasion, deception, and intimidation checks. Double your proficiency bonus. You know what? Let's take that for my main character. Now we're definitely never going to fail any of those checks. Sure. And I have one more Lithid Tadpole power. Invade a target's mind and disrupt its defenses, reducing its armor class by one... If the target dies while its psyche is fractured, you can cast Shatter Psyche on another target. I don't know if I really like that one. Minus one armor class, is it really that big of a deal for an action? I don't think so. 
Um, okay. Oh, I forgot. We have Displacer Beast form. You guys didn't remind me tonight. Totally forgot that I picked that up. I have it on three of my characters. Oh, two of my characters, I think. All right, who is this right here? This is Astarion. Absorb intellect. Gobble up a foe's intellect, lowering its intelligence by one. Sculpt the magical nexus that allows those within to take actions and bonus actions interchangeably. That's pretty cool. Spew a wave of canonical psychic energy and possibly stun targets. I want the black hole. Can mm -hmm. I take that with Minthara? Oh, I don't have it unlocked yet. Shadowheart. Oh, Shadowheart did. Yeah. Shadowheart is all about the Mind Flayer powers now. I think I'm going to take... Um... Ooh, creatures suffering falling damage take an additional 1 to 8 psychic damage. It actually goes kind of well with a Tempest Cleric. I'm going to take it because I want Black Hole. And we're going to use it with Shadowheart. How does that sound, folks? Does that sound good? Scrap and Shrapnel Grenade. Where the hell is that then? Man, it's just crazy to be hanging out on the Chianthar River right outside of Baldur's Gate. Is there nobody in those ships? They're ghost ships. I wonder how hard it would have been for Larian to put a few NPCs on those ships, you know what I'm saying? Dread nightly. Wonder if Captain Theudermont is chilling out here. Anybody know who that is? I probably pronounced it weird, but that's just what I've always said since I've read the books. Captain Deudermont. Someone in here has got to know what that is. Let's see if we have any real Forgotten Realms fans. Captain the Udermont. Nobody knows. Man, I gotta start hanging out with some cooler people. Udermont? Nope. Not how you spell it. Oh, you know what else I got from Larian, too? You guys, look at this right here. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get it. I'm not trying to show off here or brag, but I did get an entire supply pack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I eat one of these cookies tonight. I'm gonna eat that tonight. It's a D20 cookie. This is my seal. The absolute. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This is what you call streamer privilege. And I freaking love it. Where the hell is it? I think I lost it. Larry and put these two bags in the container, but they're filled with nothing but paper. I was very offended in that. It should have been filled with items of extreme value. You know what I mean? One out of ten game. Okay, I found it.
guys, I'm going to have a new webcam probably within a couple days. Then we're going to be able to do some cooler shots at higher quality, blow up the webcam so I can show off things like this a little bit more. Pretty cool, right? I got a freaking gold piece. And then my D20. I'm a privileged streamer. Coded an opening. Oh, that's cool. I'll have to check that out. Okay. Poutine. What do you think? I'm Canadian? <laughs> Disgusting. Poutine. What are you going to give me? Ham? When I ask for bacon, too? You know, trying to go to McDonald's, get an Egg McMuffin with some bacon on it, they throw ham on it, and call it Canadian bacon. Take offense to that, man. You guys are offending me tonight, you know that? Every single one of you. Bone Spike Boots. Evasive Instinct. You have a plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws as long as you are not wearing armor or holding a shield. That's pretty good. Permanent, Basically a permanent plus one. You get Brutal Leap too. Um, why, is my, why does my character have the Gith Yankee Sword equipped right now? Are you kidding me? I should have the Falara Louvre equipped. But just so you guys know, when you equip a weapon that you're not proficient with, it doesn't affect too much if you're a caster. If you're not using your weapons. So you can use like some of the weapons extra benefits that come with the weapon. Like the Falara Louvre. I'm not going to use the sword, but I can still use its little special melody right here. I like to have it equipped on my sword. My sword lock. Um, it's not like armor when you when you equip armor that you're not proficient with, you can't cast spells. A little bit more lenient. Anything of use? What is poutine? Um, I haven't had it in a while, but it's basically like fries with gravy. But it doesn't taste as good as fries with gravy. I don't know. I'm as someone who's a fan, am I getting that right? As someone who loves French fries, it might be my favorite food. And loves gravy? I'm just not a huge fan of poutine. Every time I get it, it doesn't taste right. Forward. Take that back. Bacon and poutine together is awesome. There we go. It's actually really... Those boots I just picked up are actually really good for my Sork right now. Boost my armor class by one. I'm not wearing armor. But I probably should be wearing armor at this point. What a day. As a sore lock, but we'll figure that out some other time. Who needs armor? I like the clothes in this game anyways. And nice magical benefits. Oh, didn't mean to pick that up. Technically gravy, but I think of like turkey gravy when people say gravy. I do too. Maybe that's why I'm not a big fan of poutine because it's not the gravy that I'm expecting.
32 rotten tomatoes. Don't waste a step. I love this little cove right here. Wish we could just take the Oh man, wouldn't that be cool if Larian had like a little sailing mechanic or a rowboat mechanic? Makes me think of like Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, where the first years come in. A map pointing to a secret breach in the wall of Worms Rock Fortress. It looks like it could lead to the prison and from there, inside of the fortress itself. Lovely multi beer. Sure, we'll take that. Should I do a drunk build? I like throwing dwarves and gnomes. Ship battles? <laughs> Give me ship battles, Larian, you coward. Screw. Larian screwed up big time. Yeah, I like my robes. Okay, I think I did everything that I need to in this area. Um, in order to continue the open hand temple murders, we have to go to Worms Rock Bridge, which I'm not going to be doing tonight. Like I told y'all, I'm going to be getting off here probably very shortly. It's just something little Some that I can steps. do. I don't know if it's worth starting another quest right now. Oops, wrong way. We're going to run in and up here. Be fully immersed in the world. Drunken Staff? I've never heard of the Drunken Staff. Are you talking about the Drunken Club? If there's a Drunken Staff, I gotta know about it. These boots have seen everything. There's actually some really interesting drunk builds that you can do in this game. I made a video on it a couple weeks ago if anybody's interested. Super fun with a Berserker Barbarian if you want to roleplay a drunk character and take advantage of all the drunk gear and mechanics. Barbarian can use all of the drunk gear that I found. Okay, hold on. Did we go up here? Yeah, we did. That brings us up to the temple. Open hand, which we did. We don't want to do the bridge tonight yet. We want to do... Go back this way. Yeah, it's super powerful, Philip. I'm like kind of doing it with a Starion right now. But instead of Bard, I'm doing Fighter. When you can get high ground and advantage, probably the most powerful build in the game. Thanks, Angie. You were delayed, Shannon. Happens. Happens to the best of us. You know what really sucks? I've been thinking about Dragon Age 4 a lot. And, uh... I'm gonna try- I'm trying to stay open-minded. But, uh, it's not looking too hot right now for Bioware. You guys Something been keeping up with the news? Been laying off everyone, like important figures in the Dragon Age franchise. You know, initially it was planned as like a multiplayer game, then they changed it, which is good. But like, a, that's also a drastic change. So like, it seems like they're really undecided what type of game they want to create. I don't know, man, it's scary because I, I'm, I can't wait to play Inquisition again. Riozan. Thanks for 26 months of membership. I appreciate you very much. Trying not to think about it? Yeah. 
I mean, you don't, you never know. The game could be a surprise. It might be a fantastic game. But uh, everything's not pointing in that direction at the moment. <laughs> I wonder if Baldur's Gate 3 came out and then Bioware and EA were like, oh shit. <laughs> Our game is going to look horrible compared to that. Because Dragon Age is kind of a CRPG, you know? So it's kind of in the same genre. Oh, interesting. Okay, you can't actually... Wait, can I get over here? Hold on. I don't think you can. A lot of talent seems to be ebbing out of the big studios. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, life happens and people leave studios and once in a while somebody big will leave a studio and it's not really anything to get too concerned about, like, once or twice. But when you see multiple people leaving a big studio, like, halfway or like three quarters through a game's development, it's usually not a good sign. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can't get over here. With haste. Can I get off this? Try again. I don't know if I've ever been down here before. When you see people that have been working for the Dragon Age franchise for like 15 years, like piecing out of Bioware or even getting laid off like halfway plus through Dragon Age 4's development it's just weird you know what I mean it's <laughs> good night fate thanks for stopping the him. corpse regards you lifelessly who are you Karen. What happened to you? Pushed, felt bones break, darkness. Do you have any next of kin? No, my character doesn't care about that. Where are you from? East, fled armies, lost everything. Oh. Tell me about the gemless ring I found with you. Brothers. Died on the road. Man tried to buy. And what's the last thing you remember? Man buying heirlooms. Vulture challenged him. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Interesting. I don't think I've ever talked to that character before. T20, thank you for the $10 super chat. You know, I'm not really a big horror film person. Horror movies make me depressed. So I don't watch them too often. Anybody else feel that way? Like you watch a horror movie and then like afterwards, like life is not right. That's what they do to me. Uh, with that said, I, I did see a pretty cool preview for a horror movie when I was watching Netflix last night. But I don't remember the name of it. But you know what? It is it is October. So maybe we'll Why, watch a horror hello, movie. Lover. Oh. Whoa. That more debonair in my head, I'll admit. What? Do you need something? You guys heard that, right? For fantasy movies, me too. Problem is, there's no new ones to watch. I've watched every fantasy movie you could ever possibly watch, except Princess Bride, just in spite of you guys. You mentioned Char followers might be watching for us. You think we can track down your parents? I hope so. So long as I'm willing to stroll right into the Mother Superior's trap, they have no reason to not tell me where to go. So you don't even know where to go? Not quite. Above all else, protecting our base of operations in Baldur's Gate was the reason I had to surrender my memories to begin with. 
Or at least, that's what I was led to believe. We should look for someone to point me in the right direction. Otherwise, we'll have little recourse but to wander the whole city searching. I think I'd quite like to get lost with you, Shadow. Exploring the city. I know what you mean. And under different circumstances, I'd like that too. But first things first, I'm afraid. All right. Expecting a warm reception? If by warm you perhaps mean a flaming arrow. I doubt they'll attack in public. No, I expect they'll point me in the right direction so I can face my reckoning away from prying eyes. And what should we be looking for? Worms Crossing is a choke point. If I wanted to intercept a new arrival, I'd find somewhere before the bridge, blend in amongst the crowds, and wait. I know exactly who she's Most talking about. Most people seeking entry to the city will be refugees. I'd look wherever they're gathering. So cool to have a tadpole infected party. I just hear an elephant. You know what I do like, though? I like when horror is incorporated into fantasy. Like, I like horror scenes in fantasy, but straight-up horror, usually really not that big of a fan of. Not to mention, like, half the horror movies seem like they're really low-budget. Actually, even more. Like, 95% of horror movies are always always feel like they're extremely low-budget. Okay, um... I definitely never seen this before. Am I at the... Dark fantasy, hell yeah. The boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. Game just throws surprises at you. You think I want my clan facing down one of those walking death machines with cutlery? Then leave me to my work. Only if you're quick. Flash blinder. Blind a target. If it's a steel watcher or scrying eye, it is stunned and suffers a 1d6 penalty to attack rolls. I don't need the soul coins anymore, right? Arlac is currently missing a head. I'm never going to remember to take half those potions. Might as well sell a couple. hasn't sold us out or you you'll be getting a mouthful of spot only if you're quick plus two bonus to armor class as long as you're not wearing armor or holding a shield thunder oh never mind hold on thunder palm strikers your unarmed attacks deal an additional one to four martial exertion Push past your physical limits, taking 6 to 36 piercing damage to gain additional attack per turn and to double your movement speed. Taking 6 to 36 piercing damage to gain additional attack per turn. Quite interesting. 
Gnomes are granted a plus two to dexterity. Halflings and dwarves gain a plus one to dexterity. I love when there's like racial equipment. Now let me. We're gonna come back to that guy. I have some gear sorting that I have to do. Walbrin. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I spent a lot of time thinking of worst-case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you, I hope. Gortash is a dead man. I have reasons of my own for taking him down. As long as our objective is the same, the reason doesn't matter to me. We have a common enemy. But neither of us gets what we want until we deal with our biggest obstacle. The Steel Watch. They're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change, freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. Calm down, little gnome. Why put the blame on the Gondians? They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. Hey, that, I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the watchers are on us like flies on shit. This, um, I've never gotten. I, did you guys explore this? I didn't get this content on my first run. What's the plan? Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious. But we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A rune powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind <laughs> of firepower. Fifty wizards high Get on the, the weave. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility. And boom. Ooh. Problem solved. Yeah. It's going to be quite the explosion. I can't wait. Ha! I knew you were the practical sort. That's why we get along. The foundry is in the lower city. Down by the docks. Beautiful building. Belching smoke into the sky day and night. Getting inside won't be easy. But when you do, place the bomb at the heart of the facility. Wow. Get yourself back to street level. That changes. The streets will be clear of watch. That changes a lot, actually. I didn't approach the quest in this style on my first run. That's awesome. Damn, look at the owlbear head right there. All right, y'all. I got to go play some. Uh, it is just about nine o'clock. I'm going to go play some Call of Duty with, with a few of my friends. So... We're going to put an end to the stream. Zyphiel, you better start streaming and catching up, okay? And what did Zyphiel say? I better get my first run done before Wolf laps me. That's what I'm saying. The hell you doing? Okay. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Um, I appreciate all the donos, even though I yelled at you guys, which was my plan. My plan was to yell at you guys for donating so you would donate more. Streamer manipulation at its finest. Um, Mitch, thank you for upgrading your membership, but you have been commanded to downgrade it. And then if you want to give more money, you can donate it, okay? That is a command. It's a direct order. Uh, T20, thank you. Reelzan. 
Thank you. Thomas Judge, thanks for your first, first super chat. Mitch, for like five other donations. Thunderboss, Shy Violet, who I'm not happy with right now. Shy's about to get banned. DM Dragon, thank you. Uh, Valkyria with the Australian 50, the coolest name of the chat. Thank you so much for that. Anonymous Atheist, as always, Josho. And I'll catch you guys on the next one, all right? Peace. I'm actually going to end the stream right now because these guys are waiting on me. Goodbye. I love you all. Or do I?